Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm here with an update on the GE Tech printers. So let's get cracking. Friends, this is my website, hlmodtech.com. A lot of times I'm talking to you about the Tinkercad page. Today I'm talking to you about my 3D printers page. Friends, I've got a lot of 3D printers I played with. Today, though, we're going to check out the GE Tech page. Now, friends, a user reached out saying, hey, how do you do stock firmware? It was kind of tricky to find, so what I've got is a link for you, and I'm going to show you how to update that stock firmware. So, friends, that link takes you to this website. You can obviously see their deals. We're going to switch to the download download page and we're going to find our printer. Now I am working with an A10M. When you click that link you can find your documentation, your manuals, all the different things you want. There is a firmware toolkit. I have not used that before. And then down under related software you can find the stock firmware for your different models. Now you do have to make sure you've got the exact model and you're using the correct firmware. If you've got 3D Touch, you want the 3D Touch firmware. If you don't have those, make sure you've got the correct model for your 2560. There's a V4 and a V3 so you really do have to double check to make sure you've got the right one. So friends to check your board info, now I don't have stock so it's going to be a little different but you need to go down and find your about printer tab. When you go to board info it'll show you which one you've got. As you can see I've got the V3. And that gets me set up for the rest of this firmware process. All right, everybody, so now that we know which one I have, the V3, and I don't have touch, I'm gonna simply download that firmware. I'm gonna save it to my downloads. It's gonna have a one after it because I already downloaded it once, but that way you can see the steps to actually get your file. The next step is to unzip it. I'm gonna just unzip it right here in the A10 hex folder. I can switch to that folder and you'll see there's an MX file and it is gonna to go to version 1.1.8. Now friends, if you wanna use custom Marlin, that's a different tutorial, but I'm just showing you how to get yours back to stock super quickly. Friends, we are gonna do this flashing with Cura. So I'm gonna launch that real quick. I'm using Cura 5.2.1. You can have all kinds of different versions because they do update it often. Friends, I have got that printer connected. I've launched Cura as you can see, and now I'm gonna switch to the A10M. That way Kira knows which printer you're gonna be messing with. Now when I hit manage printers, boom, it gives us the update firmware button. When we click on that, it says, don't forget all kinds of bad things can happen. So make sure you're careful. I'm gonna hit upload though. I'm gonna find that A10M hex. Do wanna remind you, make sure you had the one for your model, and then we're gonna hit open. Now, of course, we're gonna open that file and it instantly goes into the firmware update. I've got this recording on a separate screen out by the machine. Let's see what it looks like when it's successful. So friends, not a thing happens on the screen. So I set it to 5x speed in my video editor. It took about 50 seconds, boom. Now you'll see how it ends. There you see friends, it reboots and you are back into stock mode. If we go down through the list, You'll see now under about printer, if we look at printer info, it's back to Marlin 1.18 from 2017. Not sure that's an upgrade, but at least you know how to do it. Friends, there you have it. Steps to get your GE Tech A10M back to the stop firmware. Now friends, I will be updating mine to the latest Marlin. That video will be coming out soon, but of course friends, hope this helped you. And if you did find the video useful, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you wanna be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.